We visited the female orphan school in Parramatta and west of Parramatta towards Windsor and uh, actually north of Windsor is a place called Ebenezer and it was established early in Australia's history by settlers and uh, along the Hawkesbury and 15 Presbyterian families got together and built this church here, the Ebenezer Church. Ebenezer means hitherto has the Lord helped us and this church uh, was used in 1810 as a Christian school. Together, eight Christian pioneer families arrived to the New South Wales colony in 1802 and requested the Queen's appointed representative at the time, Governor King, to be established in one area with new land grants. In 1803, they received their 100-acre land grants and moved to Ebenezer at the foothills of the Blue Mountains on the Hawkesbury River. Joined by a further seven families, Ebenezer Church was built six years later in 1809. Under the leadership of Presbyterian James Mean, Ebenezer Church became the first Presbyterian church in Australia, and it remains the oldest church building still standing in the country. It also stands as the oldest educational building when a school was pioneered in 1810 with John Yule as its sole teacher. The aim was, as one clergyman put it, to advocate a system, not merely a system of education for the state, but a scriptural education to train up not moralists, but God's worshippers. A decline in church schools and a vast increase in government schooling and government control of education began in the mid-1800s. So by the 1880s, church schools which did continue had already yielded up much of the autonomy and character which they possessed. The New South Wales 1880 Act set down clearly the nature of teachings in public schools and the conditions under which religious instruction was to be given. Ebenezer was used as a church school all the way through to 1887, by which time a public school had been built in the area. The government policy of religious neutrality from these beginnings of a non-religious state school system resulted in a tragic loss of spiritual and moral bearings with a subsequent lowering of standards in our schools. There are many Australian parents and teachers who realise today, as did Catholic Archbishop Vaughan in the 19th century, that no education built in a Judeo-Christian culture can be built upon a foundation of religious neutrality. In rapidly increasing numbers, modern reformers today are exploring means whereby Australia's Christian school heritage might be regained. In recent years, a large number of non-government schools have been established and staffed by Christians, with many of these schools offering today high-quality programs, which embody the same principles applied so successfully by our early Christian pioneers at Ebenezer over 200 years ago.